before we talk about anything else in this particular video let me just tell you guys that big brother has just rewarded the head of house alongside his companion a movie session courtesy of showmax and this experience tagged the showmax reward time will not only be enjoyed by the head of house and his companion in this case dotu and daniela biggie also gave both of them rooms to choose one housemate each you know that would join them for this experience and as expected dotu picked deji while daniela picked allison and that has caused a bit of a rift in biggie's house because you know brian is like oh why wouldn't daniela pick me i make this girl breakfast every single time why wouldn't she pick me yada 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 and of course there was bella and sheg seated one side and you know bella was begging dotto please pick us now please pick us now but baba just went on ahead to pick deji and for me that was no surprise you guys know that deji and dotto they share a very close bond you guys remember that dotto cried like a baby the day big brother asked deji to move to the level two mansion so if he had picked someone else outside of deji that would have been strange i mean of course except daniela wasn't in the picture but now daniela is already there daniela is already a part of the experience so it just made sense that he would pick deji so now let's go on ahead to discuss the travel better task that was just completed in biggest house before this announcement came okay guys the housemates just completed their travel better task and even though i'm seated right here not even sure of who the winner is because the housemates are trying to confuse me i mean they're also confused so at this point i really don't know but i'm just going to run you guys through the events of the evening okay so we had four teams in total we had team visa and that's fina chichi brian hermes and cheesy now for team flight we had adekunle rachel diana allison and dotto and of course we had team blue ribbon and that included bella shags doi and deji you guys know that we have 19 housemates left in the house and that explains why we have just four housemates in team blue ribbon okay now of course they play the human being version of x and o mm. biggie put one this thing for granted say may human beings they use themselves as the x and the o it was funny to watch even though i felt like it was boring guys let me know i felt like that particular game was boring it was impossible to find a winner and at some point they had to alternate the game with rock paper scissors rock paper scissors <laughs> And the game where they play with that. So as big they use human beings do uh, X and O. Now wow. And the way they played the game, Team Visa played against Team Flight. And at the end of that, Team Flight won. And when Team Holiday Package played against Team Blue Ribbon, Team Blue Ribbon won. Now, they played a second game, and this one had to do with history, culture, random facts, and, you know, knowledge of travel better as a brand. You know, all of these were tested. So, basically, all they had to do was to take the odd pictures out, one that doesn't belong to the category. So, they did that, and, you know, Team Flight had five points, Team Blue Ribbon had five points, um, Team Holiday Package had two points, while Team Visa had three points. And of course, we had to play the rock, paper, scissors again. And this one was between Team Flight and Team Blue Ribbon, okay? And once they did that, Team Flight won, making Team Flight the winner of two rounds, okay? Now, for the last round of the game, which was what Biggie called the ultimate game. So, at this point, I want to assume that the team that won this ultimate game won the overall um, task. I don't know. Biggie just said, you have won this round. You have won this round. So, at this point, we don't really know if there's going to be a reward for just one team or, you know, for the teams that won the respective rounds. At this point, I have no idea because even the housemates are confused because Biggie just said, you have won this round. You have won this round. So, he did not say you are the ultimate winner or anything like that, okay? Now, for this round, there were four balls with incomplete sentences and phrases and each team had to fill them up completely. But before they would do that they had to play the hand and foot challenge without falling and according to biggie it must match correctly okay i'm going to insert videos for you guys so that you have an idea of what i'm talking about all right all right all right spider-man spider-man all right and you know as soon as they were done with this round team visa had eight over 13 Team Holiday Package had 8 over 13, Team Flight had 10 over 13, while Team Blue Ribbon had 13 over 13. And of course, this automatically made them the winner of this round, according to Biggie. Like I said, we don't know if he's going to come back later to say, oh, you're the winner of the entire game, or oh, you're the winner. I don't know, man. Like, 
maybe biggie make mistake i don't really know i'm as confused as the housemates okay but if you think you have an answer if you think you know who the ultimate winners are then please let us know in the comment section because even the ultimate winners are not sure you know team flight i say oh but we won two games so we're not totally failures you know this one's to say oh but we won the ultimate game so we are the winners at this point guys i i really don't know okay i don't know Deb said i don't know so yeah that's basically what happened on this particular game right now i feel like the winners are actually between team blue ribbon and team flight but i just want to assume that because this game was tagged the ultimate game it just might be that team blue ribbon won and i mean the prizes have not even been announced so whenever biggie announces that i'm definitely going to update you guys on it okay now away from that guys let's talk briefly on giddy fire and rachel okay both of them were having a conversation in the room and deji was standing in as a middleman okay he was standing in for giddy fire just so that he could help giddy fire beg rachel you guys know that rachel just felt out of place with the whole situation you know between giddy fire herself diana and amaka and it's almost seeming like now giddy fire is trying to apologize to her simply because amaka is no longer in the house and for her it's like mm, this doesn't really make any sense plus you know you just behave certain ways sometimes and i don't like it you know you make me feel like i cannot even depend on you for certain things whereas when the rest of the house are against you i'm there defending you i'm there trying to talk for you and all of that but then for you any slightest opportunity you have you just chicken out and now that you're coming to apologize to me it doesn't really make any sense it doesn't really sit well because amaka is out of the picture it just means that if amaka was still in the picture then this apology probably wouldn't have happened and the guy's like no 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 i know i fucked up i know i did this one i'm sorry please 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 no about amaka we already talked about it i had a long conversation with amaka and we sorted that one out i know i treated you wrongly i shouldn't treat you like that blah 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 they did not say you know everybody make mistakes we are all learning you know nobody is perfect so just you know forgive him blah 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 i'm like hmm, voila so at this point now it can't be like say giddy fire won the pursue rachel bumper to bumper he has finally given up on you know chasing diana i mean that's what it's seeming like right now so i mean i don't even know i don't even know for them you know she's like i'm not angry i'm not angry but her face was still strong they were not asking her are you sure you are not angry are you sure say she's not angry that she's not angry but at this point you know she just doesn't know if she still has someone she can trust in the house and all of that so they'll be fine last last they'll be fine i just feel like now that amaka is out of the house giddy fire will now focus on whatever it was that he wanted because i mean all this running around that he's been doing from the beginning of the game i'm just like nah i'm not even buying this nonsense if you want to be in a ship be in a ship if you want to be on a bicycle then climb bicycle now you go see for break it you understand so i don't really know what he's doing and to be honest I, I really don't care okay but i just really wanted you guys to know that you know he finally came to apologize to rachel and just like rachel said he almost seems like he's apologizing to her now simply because amaka is no longer in the picture you know if she were to be there then he wouldn't even own up to whatever it was that he's been doing just let me know what you think in the comment section okay thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will definitely see you guys for the next one Bye.